Hi, this is Michelle Plogel with Compass, and today I'm going to do a video that explains the sewer ladder ordinance. So if you are a buyer and you've been wanting through open, wandering through open houses, or maybe you've just read some disclosures and you see sewer lateral ordinance, or you talk to an agent and they go, well, it passed the sewer lateral. And you think, well, what does that mean? What is, what is it even? I'm going to explain that today, but what I can tell you what a sewer lateral ordinance is, is the city and county of Santa Cruz are asking that the seller have their sewer line inspected and make sure that there's no leaks or root intrusions or, you know, big gaps where it's compressed or broken or, you know, or just it, it's, it's bad. And they're asking that you, or they actually, I should say, requiring it because it's an ordinance that you have it fixed before the close of sale or you negotiate with the buyer and they have it done when they take possession of the property and they have 90 days after to take it. And so as I go through and explain, I'll, I'll, I'll give a little bit more information on how that works, but that's the basic. So I just wanted to show you if you Google sewer, sewer lateral, if you have any questions, it's really easy. You just type in sewer lateral city or county and there's tons of information. I'm going to start with the county just because I like this site. I think it has a lot of good information. And for me to be doing a video explainer, I think this really helps here because of the picture that really tells you what the components are that you're looking into to have repaired or uh, replaced. So you, owner of the property, are responsible for the sewer lateral. This is the sewer lateral. This is where it connects to the main. This is where you don't have responsibility anymore. And in the county, this is what you are responsible. In the city, you are too, but the city isn't as concerned with this business here as much as they are with this business here. And they don't say it in so many words like that, but as I've been around a lot of these inspections over the last couple years, this is a not a new ordinance on the books, but a newly enforced ordinance that now, of course, as realtors, because it's a time of sale ordinance, we are the ones that are responsible to make sure this gets done. Now, I have a little joke here I'm going to insert. We used to have to do make sure that the toilets were low flow and it was a big deal if they weren't. And we were called the potty police. Well, the city of Santa Cruz actually sunsetted that program, so it, it is no longer. But then the sewer lateral came in right behind it. So we are real estate agents and potty police. Hello. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. Anyway, okay. So what happens with these lines? Why don't they work? What happens? Well, a lot of what happens with these really are mainly, in my experience, has been tree roots, but also the plumbing pipes themselves have broken. They're, we have a lot of them that are clay and they just disintegrate. Somebody actually told me they were aware of a redwood wood pipe and they had an experience with that. I have not, but you know, things break down. And as you can imagine, soil is different all throughout the county and different um, geologies and different um, areas, right? And different things that um, make up our different areas. You would have these maybe compressed by the soil and fail or clay is connected and at the actual connection breaks, but a lot of materials just break down. Here you'll see uh, leaks, cracks, inflow, infiltration of extraneous, extraneous water, root intrusion, open joints, excessive sags, breaks, or blockages. Blockages is a house. I bought a house, um, and um, it was it didn't have a garbage disposal, and it had very small plumbing, and uh, it was blocked. It was like concrete in there. We actually had to have it um, sawed out, that pipe. 
And that pipe was actually right in here near the kitchen. Now, if the clean out was here, this is a clean out, that clean out would have been put in here and the plumber would have said, hey, look, this is all good, right? You're fine. And I wouldn't have known about this blockage. Now, I did know there was something wrong with the plumbing, so I wasn't really surprised and we got it fixed. But clean outs are also a way as an owner here, you'll see this pipe that comes in here and it can actually, you can put a snake down there and clean the line and you can put a video in and you can view the lines and it's 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 a good thing that you need to make sure that you're actually kind of checking the health of your sewer but just know that a lot of homes don't have them now i'm sure in here it says what size they would like i know about four inches is good i just had a property recently that was deemed to not have a good clean out. Um, it had a very small clean out that was just for cleaning out the kitchen sink. And people think because they have that little pipe open at the back of the kitchen sink, you'll see it as you walk along the house, we've all seen them. That's not what they mean. They want a true connection right into the sewer lateral so you can view and or clean and um, maintain the sewer lateral as it goes to the public main. I want to throw in here some notes about tree roots. It's important to know in our area, we have years of rain and we have years of drought. It is a normal cycle. I understand global warming and I understand things have changed in our environment. But since I've been a very young child here and kind of noticed weather and paid attention, we've had years of drought and we've had years of rain. And for tree roots, a drought will cause the tree root to go look for water. So if there's any type of hole or place, but you know, right in the seam, a root can get in if it needs water, it's gonna go there. That root is gonna get in there and it's gonna grow in there. It's like, hey, that's where the water is. That's where it's gonna go. Then what happens, we have a couple years of a lot of rain, which we're currently in right now. Those roots get very large. They get engorged with water where they're going to store the water and then they're going to bust that. They're just going to bust, right? Whatever they've um, intruded into. So something to know about tree roots. This is also important for septics. If you're looking in the San Lorenzo Valley, that's another thing that happens with tree roots. So just something to know, like we bought this house and there's a tree and, and everything was great. And then we have a couple of years of a lot of rain and all of a sudden there's tree roots everywhere. Or you notice some, you know, buckling your sidewalk or something. That's the phenomenon with tree roots. So there's some other information down here. Uh, there is a septic inspection now. So when you think of sewer lateral, because in the county, in the city, in town, we're all connected, uh, of, of course, onto a sewer. So you would be checking this here, but there is a septic inspection requirement now for septics that they pass, that they're not leaking and they're not broken and they're not leach leaching effluent into the environment either. So um, it's either way, it, however you are moving waste from your house has to be inspected. Sewer lateral of uh, frequently asked questions. The reason this is important is because sometimes you're trying to check if where you live falls under this ordinance because there's some areas that don't. And here's the other thing you should know. There is about five individual private septic systems and sanitation systems down in Watsonville that aren't listed on here. So always when you are buying a property, just verify this information and make sure because when you buy the property, even if you didn't agree to transfer transfer um, doing the work, and I'll explain that in a minute, um, you're still liable that this um, ordinance is, you know, minded. Let's see. Oh, these are the reasons why they have it. They really don't want liquid leakage of the effluent into um, the into the ground, uh, leaking sewage, and all those sort of sorts of things. Um. If you are under 20 years, you can possibly get a waiver on this. I just had a property last year that just turned 20 years as they went on the market and we were fine, but um, 
typically if it's a brand new house, you're going to be fine. But of course you need to, you need to have, you need to check with um, first. And so what I did was it was so close to the 20 years. I called the city of Watsonville and they said, nope, we looked it up. You have to get it inspected. And we did. The other thing that um, isn't covered in um, this frequently asked questions, I think well, maybe it is lower, uh, but the city does a, a little bit better of a job of it, is you should know that in a mobile home park where it has a very large uh, sewer system that everybody is tied into, more than likely it's not necessary, but you need to check. And then with the um, townhomes and condominiums, there are quite a few of them where they are also exempt, but make sure, make sure you check with the entity it falls under and or the homeowners association because in a very large complex if you're at the very back sure you're you're going to be exempt right because you have to connect into so many private systems before it actually reaches the public system but if your home is close to this system you very well could be responsible individually even though you fall under an HOA. So it's just really good to be very clear on this and to make sure that you understand your responsibilities. Even if the, the seller doesn't say anything about it, doesn't mean that once you're an owner, you might not get a, you know an email or, or a phone call about this. So let's jump over to the city. Now their, um, their website to me is not quite, white as I prefer the county one. I maybe because I like pictures. But this one has a little bit of a different um uh picture here for you to take a look at. A private sewer system would be where you, you know, here it's saying townhome, condominium, plan unit, development house. See how this is all private and they're saying you fall under this private system. So you more than likely you aren't responsible. But what I want to let you know is to be very cautious because see how this one here very well could be for they, they could connect directly. You have to make sure I understand this picture, but I also understand that I was talking to a, a homeowner. I was not my seller. And we had figured out that that homeowner, it was um, down on Ocean Street, their unit actually connected directly and they thought they fell under the homeowners association. So you just have to be kind of careful with it. And this one tells you how it works on a regular city system. Um, do I have a shared system? I would encourage you not to try to figure this out on your own. If you aren't sure if you're within a shared system, you need to call the city or have your realtor talk with the city and send in the a parcel number to make sure that you're really sure because it, they, I've had a few that I've been surprised on. So I, I recommend it. Here is a list of plumbers that the city has um, th that they want you to use because they have fully versed them in what they're looking for in terms of the, the work and the condition they want the sewer laterals to be in. Not only that, a lot of these plumbers know how to work with them. The county has a Dropbox system where you put in everything there. They go in there and they review it all and they make comments and they leave it in the Dropbox system. And that's where you can see it. The city, I'm, I haven't done one with them in a bit, but they tend to um, look at it and then get back to you. But all these plumbers here on the city site know how their system works. Here's all the different um, scenarios. And then let me go show you a form really quickly on the city because it's a little different. Let me see if they have the forms. Where is the form? Ah, time. Okay, here we go. Time of sale inspection form. So this is the form where you get um, the information who, when, when it goes into the city, this form goes with it with a video and the plumber will fill this out. But then the city of Santa Cruz, um, I believe they have comments down here, but it, it's graded. So I have seen more than a few that don't 
actually fail. And so the city says, you know, it didn't fail. We're good. But then you read all these little explanations because the sum of it needs to be, I think it's a 13. I have had a couple of properties that come in at 12. Well, as a buyer, what do you think about that? Do you want that fixed? Do you want to negotiate with the seller to make sure it's all good when you move in? Or do you just want that house? You're competing. There's a lot of offers and you'll just figure it out. It, it, it's fine now. You're, you, it's, they're saying it passes. So you're, you're going to be under and, and you're going to get your um, certificate saying that you're good. But, but are you good with that? And the reason I bring that up is because I've had a few that didn't fail, but we really had to disclose to the, to the buyer okay, it didn't fail, but there's still issues. There was a crack, there was a fracture, there were some roots. Uh, one of um, the ones that didn't fail, we could actually see the true roots in there, but they had grown in such a way, I think they you could kind of see them maybe at the bottom. I can't really remember, but they, they said, no, it's fine, we're good with that. Um, and they, I'm, these people are good at their jobs. My job is not real estate, I'm sorry, <laughs> my job is real estate. My job isn't plumbing, so I'm not always sure. But I think if there's some work to be done on the, you know, those pipes, you want to make sure. And then I had a, a home I sold a couple of years ago where the issues came up that were never part of the inspection. We didn't know any of it at all. The city had determined that there was issues that had happened and they because they were looking around at that time that actually became the homeowner's problem which was really weird i can't even explain that one i they kept trying to explain it to me i was like i have no idea what's going on so bottom line the city and the county are different but let me tell you i'm glad you stayed this far for the video if you could stand this because i know this is not exciting stuff but what you need to know is you need a clean out there has been only maybe two or three properties in my last couple years of selling that did not need a clean out. You are going to need a clean out. So seller, if you are, are kind of up for it, that might be something that you want to do to just pass along to the buyer and say, hey, look, I, I got the clean out done. Um, and I, you know, of course you have to do the inspection. So I got the inspection done and we're all good and we're passed and here you go. Enjoy or hey buyer you know we didn't we we're good on the sewer lateral inspection everything is good but we don't have the clean out which the city absolutely wants and i believe the county wants it no matter what too but a clean out needs to be put in and it's going to be about five thousand dollars and i'm you know i've got a couple offers and everybody said they'll take that on will you take that on so it's a sewer lateral ordinance that needs to be taken care of at the time of sale. The buyer can take it over and take responsibility for it. The seller needs to have the inspection done and pass along the disclosure, if nothing else, to the buyer of what needs to be done. And just count on it if you're a seller, more than likely you're going to need a clean out. And just just kind of know, unless you know you just had a clean out. My neighbors had a, a clean out put in on their own. They wanted one. And I guess because they were having their plumbing, they kept being looked at and, and they just felt like they just needed a better way for it to be looked at. So they put in a clean out. So when they sell, if, um, you know, if this area here is good, then they're, they're going to be fine. They have their clean out. Their clean out is actually in the sidewalk because they are in the city. Um, but, but they're probably, if this is all good, they're going to be good. So I know there's a lot of information there. Feel free to call me, email me, text me, and I'll, I'll let you know what I know. But I think this is a good overview of what the sewer lateral ordinance is just kind of in a brief, a brief, a brief 20 minute video. So, uh, thanks for watching. And of course, let me know if you have any questions. I'm here for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. I would love to hear it. Thanks. Bye.